Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. At 72, actress Jane Seymour gushed that she is having the best sex of her life with boyfriend John Zambetti in an essay for Cosmopolitan's Sex After 60 Digital Issue. Sex right now is more wonderful and passionate than anything I ever remember, because it is built on trust, love, and experience she penned in her essay, which was published Wednesday. I now know myself and my body, and John has had his own experiences in his life it's not like when you're younger. I suppose among younger generations, people have sex first and then say, oh, by the way, hello. How do you do? She theorized. The older I get, the more sex is built on emotional intimacy, on having shared the ups and downs of life with someone our feelings, our joys, our sadness, our mutual passions, and desire. Seymour, who rose to fame after playing a Bond girl in the 1973 film Live and Let Die, also hit back at the assumption that sex stops when you get older. Your sex life doesn't need to end at 60. At the end of the day, everyone is looking for something that puts blood into a certain area she wrote. When you can figure that out, well, you're going to be a happy camper. She also joked that a bonus to sex later in life is that you can't get pregnant. I truly feel sex and intimacy is better at my age than it ever was before she further gushed. I actually mean that. And it took being single after my marriages to learn that I don't have to disappear for sex and romance to click. The mother of four has been married four times. Seymour was with Michael Anbro between 1971 and 1973, Jeffrey Planer from 1977 to 1978, David Flynn between 1981 and 1992, and James Keach from 1993 to 2015. She shares her kids Catherine and Sean with Flynn and her twins Christopher and John with Keach. The Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman star, went Instagram official with Zambetti in October 2023 by sharing photos of them engaging in some PDA at a dinner party on Instagram. In her essay for Cosmopolitan, Seymour admitted she often lost herself in her relationships, which is why she is making sure to live for herself in her current romance. In fact, she said she was so into making herself happy that she was not interested in Zambetti at all when they first met. I was at my happiest, surrounded by friends and family literally, I think I had 16 of them in the house this one time, from my sisters and their husbands to cousins, and even all the grandchildren she explained. John was immediately exposed to who I really am. And so despite my active disinterest in romance at the time, he still appreciated me and the privilege it was to see my life. I let him be part of the gang. Seymour previously gushed about her bow in an interview with the Daily Mail.